Yes, and today we are talking about shaping your future. We ask people on the streets, where do you see yourself in five years, like five years from now? And this is what they had to say. Okay. Hi, Chatsport. My name is Gregory Onuonga Ocheng. I say, in five years' time, if the leadership of this country won't change, I could be the same person. But, God willing, I'll change my narrative. I will change my narrative. Lazima ni kwe mjanja. That's the quote in Kenya. Hi, Chatsport. My name is Marco Viambo Onyango. Yeah, so in five years' time, najuna bado tunda kwa tumrefu. <laughs> Apart from our singing in your co, Malu Cochin. Yeah. Hi, Chat Spot. My name is Fidel Apollo. I'm a student. And uh, to the question I've been asked, in five years' time, as youths, I see ourselves nowhere because uh, there are no jobs in Kenya. But then, as students, if you can use the knowledge you acquire from school, then you can employ yourself and you'll be somewhere in five years' time. Hey, Chat Spot. This is Edu. And uh, five years from now, maybe one child, maybe a house, maybe a good job. Yeah. Hello, Chart Spot. I'm Sheila Diambo. Uh, and in five years to come, I would like to be in a position where I have my own business and uh, to also help the young generation that are coming up, that are lacking job to do right now. I know many are suffering outside there. They don't have anything to do. And uh, it has been my prayer that one day I will be able to have a, a big company to enable even to have those people that are suffering outside there. And also I'm a musician and I know by the God's grace I will be seen on top so that the Lord to be seen in me but not to be seen. Yeah, and also to promote those young, uh, young gospel ministers that are coming up. They don't have people. Uh, they don't have those people that can help them. Today in virtual studio, you, we are joined by financial coach David Cairo. Welcome, uh, David. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Yes, glad to have you back. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so let's just jump right into it. When it comes to planning for, you know, five years from now, definitely the, a financial plan is also very advisable. So where does one begin? But, so thank you very much. I'll start by saying um, uh, interesting response there uh, from most of the people you spoke to on the streets. Uh, it's unfortunate when someone says that uh, we, we will not be somewhere. I don't want to agree with that because either way, I'm glad that uh, he didn't say that uh, uh, he's either way knowing that he'll want to start a business and then uh, hopefully uh, employ other people. So I wouldn't want to, I don't think it's that hopeless for us, uh, even as a youth in this country. I believe there's a lot that we can do and there's a lot that is happening in this country. Now, with that said, uh, allow me to first say that uh, wherever any of us will be five years from now, will be based on one, the decisions we make today that translate into actions. Okay, so we won't be, we won't, we will be somewhere. Of course, it will be five years from now, so we will be somewhere. But that somewhere is dependent mainly, mainly on the actions we take today yeah now the actions we take today are a are a result of consequences or decisions that we make so it's the decisions that we make that determine now one of the best things or best ways to look at this then even before we go to the issue of you know having a plan is to appreciate that you need to operate within principles uh, i'll give an example of gravity you find that if you operate within the principle of gravity it then means that uh, you, no one can really, you know, go against gravity as it were uh, and su uh, successfully. But if you do it with, for example, the way we, you know, a plane will, will take up, uh, you know, will we'll soar in the air and go, it's okay. So it's important for us today to ask ourselves, where were we five years ago? Okay, just the other day, 2000 and uh, and, 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 and 18, where were you? And most of us can vividly remember where we were five years ago. 
Now, it, that, that then means it's possible for us then to forecast and see five years. So the thing is, be very realistic. Tell yourself five years from now, 2026, on the, on the, on the 26th of July, 2026, where would you want to be? And then now work backwards. Now, when we say where would you want to be, it needs to be a balance in terms of your income, in terms of your health, your wellness, your fitness, you know, social life and things like that. So that's where we need to start. So, but, but what are those factors? Because you've talked about gravity and we've seen, of course, planes uh, defy gravity safely. So what factors are we supposed to consider when we write down our five-year plan, which is achievable? And of course, being as pragmatic and, and practical as possible. And you have mentioned that. So already, thank you. You've mentioned two of them, that being pragmatic, being very, you know, that's taking very practical steps. So the first thing is be very, very realistic. Uh, it's good to dream and it's good to envision. Again, don't be too, lim don't limit your vision because where you may be today doesn't mean is where you'll be five years from now. But so uh, it's very good to vision. It's very good to dream. Today is the best time to dream about five years from now. However, every other time, make sure you have a periodic way of reviewing. Uh, that. So the first thing is, uh, is have a vision. In, and what do I mean when I say have a vision is think about where you want to be. I, I like when I hear the lady saying she wants, to, the guy saying he wants to be married, he wants maybe to have a, you know, a wife, maybe a child. Another lady there says she wants to be a gospel music. That's a vision. That's a dream. That's good. She's even saying beyond her being in music, she wants to help other people raise them in, in terms of. So the first thing is vision. Have a clear uh, be very clear in your vision. Spend time, you know, spend time and say, what do I want to do? So if it's around your finances, for example, ask yourself, how much do you want to be not just earning, but spending five years from now? Because what you spend will determine also what you what you earn. So you could look at it from either the spending or the earning. But I'll I'll surprise you or I'll say to some of our viewers, the issue is not always how much you earn. The issue is how much you spend. So it's more about asking yourself, how much do I want to spend, for example, in terms of basic needs, necessities, and other, and other, and other needs, for example. The, the next thing you need to do is try as much as possible to be an open-minded person. Five years from now, you don't have to be where you are today in terms of either where you live, either, you know, some of you are in school, you, don't, you wouldn't be in school, so to speak, or you would be in school, but now are, are progressing with your course, with your career and something like that. So ask yourself those questions. So the issue here is to be open-minded, have a very, very clear vision, and be realistic, to keep it simple. Uh, All right, David. thank you so much, um, yeah. David. We really enjoyed having you. We hope to have you here with us again. Yeah. yeah. You're most welcome. I appreciate it. And I believe it's applying to all of us, including myself and all of you three. Thank Absolutely. You. All right. Thanks so much, David. Guys, um, we need to take a short commercial break, but do not go anywhere because our guest is in studio. Welcome back. And if you just joined Karibu Sana, let me sample a few of your feedback from our Facebook page. Kandiba and Asema Queens, beautiful ladies enjoying the show. Nikiwa kwa couch. Now, apenda sana usukwe couch. Sana ukuta kwa couch potato. I'm sorry. Yeah. Daddy jokes. Dad jokes again. Rose Kinyo and Asema sipping the tea, ladies, and I'm loving it. Thank you so much. Paris Wangoya and Asema chat spot. Hey, my girls, you look good. Joyce Maina, you have a good head wrap. Kush Tracy, good work throughout the weekend. Barikiwa, Nano Witch. Thank you very much. Triza Nasema Triza Barasa Nasema. Hello, beautiful girls. You look gorgeous. See show near see ya kumis Stella Barak Nikiwa Kitale. Sasa how come Unajita Stella Barak? Na profile yako inasema Triza Barasa. Okay, nisawa to miss yelewi. Adela nasema it ended up in premium tiers. I think she is talking about Akode and I, I don't know because that's where premium tiers to litaja. Saoma nasema hi chat spot, you're looking good. Nyote, Nico tuned in kila siku. I'm Saom from Tuapa. Sante sana for watching. Angela nasema looking good. Girls watching you from country 001 with my daughter though she's unwell. Anisho anibaye. Eh? Anisho ni bayenguo kama ya kush. Oh, that's so sweet. And and quick recovery to your daughter. 
Empress anasema hi girls yes mimi nasoma kile ameandika hey girls i am tashi from vasho i love you girls excessively sasa mimi kama wanjiko nataka kila mmoja wenu anipe nguo moja tu ai yawa <laughs> but of course hey, bro, Joyce, you were saying it is all like a list of demands but anyway guys like i said our guest is in studio so you know what time it is <laughs>